Hello guys, today I am making a new video about my model tanks. I've got a few of them and it's not just tanks, but uh, let's get right into it. So this is an after World War II Sherman, and they I've just tried to make it World War II by the helmet and the old World War II machine guns, but this was one of my older models, so... It look, doesn't look really good, and since I used to play with it. This is my Stug. So it was a German anti-tank anti tank, or tank destroyer, yeah. And I've recently f made some stuff to it. I've added a blast hole where an HE round has hit it and just blown out the panel. I've also, over here, done where some panels are missing, and a round has hit it and penetrated, but they have recovered the vehicle and gotten a new crew. And he has an MG42 up there for anti-personnel and aircraft. So, it's also got some rope here and here. I've tried to use a lighter and dent that, but it didn't work out too well. This is one of my first attempts at using a lighter to make it look cooler. This is my winter camouflage tiger tank, and I made this quite a while ago for my 10th birthday, and I've made some new things to it. I've, I've made it so that the turret can swivel around, and I've put the MG34 on top of it. I've also made that like they've just painted over a ricochet just to give it more camo. And I've also put a fire extinguisher on it. And I've tried to do some weathering on the smoke funnels things. The exhaust, yes. And didn't work out too well. Next vehicle. This is my Hummel tank, and they are currently loading it with some HE rounds and smoke. This guy is taking in the shells and putting them in their positions. This guy is giving him the shells, and this guy is giving that guy the shells. These were, I believe, 120mm artillery, or howitzer rounds, and... I've made it so that the breech can open and the gun can swivel around, but it can't go up and down. Well, um, here's just the countings of the rounds and one of the shells. But now the next vehicle. This is a Panzer IV that I got a really long time ago. And as you can see, it wasn't really good modeling when I started. But the gun can go up and down. Turret can swivel around and come off. It's got a breech on the inside as well. And it's got a little bit of an interior, like a machine gun in there. But you can't see much due to lighting. And, yeah. Alright, back now on the next tank. This is my 172 scale, 175th something scale. T-34. I can make it a 76 by just putting the 76 turret on, or I can make it an 85 by putting the 85 turret on. I've also painted it and the insides. I've tried to weather the exhaust if it'll focus, yeah, by just taking to it with a bit of a lighter and just trying to make it look burnt. As you can see, a little bit of the lighter marks right there. So, that's my T-34-85 now. Now, to the next vehicle. This is one of my very old models. This is an Abrams. It used to be remote controlled, but not anymore. Because the controller broke. Um, there's the motors. The turret can swivel all the way around, it's pretty smooth. The gun can go up and down. 
but it doesn't, it's not very stiff, so it can't, like, stand a position at all. Always just fall down to the ground. And I've tried, I'm not actually sure when I made this, but I know I've tried to go to it with camouflage, with brown and sand brown. I've also let the track spin, well, of course, to make it RC. Alright, so the next vehicle. This is my Russian KV-2 tank, and this was one of my later models. I've acted like something has hit it there, or like ran into it. And in the front, there is a few impact holes. The paint is very, very shiny. I'm not sure what kind of paint I use, but I know that it was very shiny paint. Oh, uh, and I've also added a German helmet up there, along with the 1911. And the turret can swivel around. The gun can go up and down a little bit. The On the side, there is an MG42 on a rope, on two ropes, and an M1 Grand on a rope. Uh, I know these are American weapons, but those are the only guns I have. Well, except for the MG42. And right there is another shell hole, so that probably would have knocked out the turret, and the two in the front, they would have bailed out, or just the one in the front. Yeah. Alright, now the next vehicle. This is a model of the USS Missouri. I've painted it just a while ago. Uh, the planes that were... And I know the water line is a bit shallow. There might be less gravity on wherever this one came from. Um, all the main cannons, they swivel around, but the guns don't go. Well, they do go up and down. I thought they didn't go up and down, because I used to just make them like that. And there's the Union Jack on a starless flag so that could be new zealand or australian or another country there's also a french flag there along with that country i'm not sure what that country is someone please tell me in the comments so now on to the next vehicle here is a p51 mustang from north america and i've painted it like the red tails movie because when i painted it i was watching that movie on a computer. Uh, it's, I was actually surprised I could do that, like the stars and the symbols on the plane. But I have also added on the bottom and two missile launchers next to the dump, dumping tanks with extra fuel. And I haven't painted inside the cockpit because I just couldn't get in there with too much detail on a paintbrush. Because that's all I have. I don't have any fancy airbrushes. I just have a paintbrush. On to the next vehicle. Here is an Apache that I haven't finished painting, as you can see with the propellers. And they can spin. Um, It's got the machine gun on the bottom. A bunch of rockets on the sides. And it's got this landing gear that I've never seen before. Uh, this has broken many times, which is why you can see glue on it. Uh, but, yeah, I haven't finished painting this one, so I'll make another video on that once I've finished painting it. This is a Zero Fighter. It is Japanese, as you can see. And it's got two 20mm cannons and four 7mm guns. And the cockpit I have painted really well in my opinion, because I haven't really done a cockpit painting much. I've added the, like, stickers inside there. Not stickers, but I'm not sure what to call them. I've also painted the gun sights. I've made put on wooden propellers. And um, on the bottom... There are these symbols, and I'm pretty sure it's like a fighter squadron or something. I'm not too sure. There's the drop tank. 
And I guess that's the serial number or the date it was made, I'm not sure. Oh, it's taken down six American planes, two bombers maybe? Or those were bombers on the bottom. Because they've got bombs in them. Um, I'm not sure what that says, so if anyone can read that, can you please tell me? Um, so I guess we'll go to the next vehicle then. Now we are moving away slowly from the army vehicles. This is the Discovery Space Shuttle being loaded up with stuff. And it's landed, as you can see with the landing gear. Its thrusters are pointed like that, I think, so that it can take off and not flip over due to the pressure or the thrust of the back orange big tank that used to go on the bottom of it. Um, I haven't painted the cockpit now because you're not really going to see it at all. Because I can't even see it. There is an... There's a bunch of equipment in here, I think this is like a lab, and this is an extending arm for like recovering or just sending astronauts out on that to do stuff. Alright, now let's move on to the next vehicle. Next I have the Titanic. This was also one of my very old models. As you can see, because the waterline is way down there, so it's also a very non-gravity planet. I think the grand staircase is going under there, under that one. There's the navigator, or I think that's the navigator's area on the back. This is the mast, of it'll focus. Yeah, there's the mast with the American flag on it. And the crow's nest right there. Here is the stern of the ship with the poop deck. <laughs> Funny joke. I couldn't find any of the right colours for the propellers. Or the um, hull. Hull red. It looks like a very pink ship on the camera. But I assure you it's red-ish. These, I'm pretty sure they weren't yellow but that's the only paint i actually had when i made this model right now to the person this is the first soldier i made he is a commanding officer i think a field officer he has his walter p38 right there which the camera can't see i've just blue tagged him to this because they couldn't stand up properly but he is for sure a commander, field commander, as you can see by that. And his helmet is a single decal helmet. He has many medals, but the decals have fallen off them. But I'm just going to paint them one day. Here is his little pouch for, like, maps and letters and all that kind of thing. All that jazz. And I read on the box when I was making it that these are like horse riding boots or something like that and yeah my first soldier yay it's a german command officer so here are all of the models i have showed you and if you want you can google some more information on all of them because i don't have much information um i do know a lot about the titanic though but that's too much information for me to say in one video. That'll take me hours, because I just can't stop talking. But probably my most detailed model would be either the Stug or the Missouri. Missouri. I don't know. And this is by far my favourite model. Or oh, second favourite, because of the gun. And KV2 over here, this is, is my favourite model. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!